So on this subject of spiritual street smarts, which by the way is such a fun topic, such a fun subject. Today, I want to share a pretty simple tool that I use primarily when I need to ground or center or balance. And then I'll share a couple other uses uh, that I use it for. But let's just start by, if you want to, close your eyes and I'll just talk you through the simple light technology. So we begin by imagining or envisioning a vertical line of light coming from the sun right down through your crown, the top of your head uh, going all the way down through your body and into planet Earth, right to the heart, the core of planet Earth. And this line of light at the top end connects right to the heart or the core of our sun and then from there into the whole system of suns all the way to the central or the great sun. You can make this line of light any size that you want to, any level of brightness, any color even, but going right down through the center of your being. And in some cultures and some teachings, this is called your shashumna. And once you have that held firmly in your awareness, we're going to add in two horizontal lines of light. So the first one will go north and south, and it's okay if you don't know what direction is what. This happens just with your intention. So a horizontal line of light that goes all the way north and all the way south to infinity and crosses your vertical line right at your heart center. And then the second line goes east and west, all the way east, all the way west, and again crosses the other two lines right at your heart center. So now you have three lines of light all intersecting right in the center of your chest in the very center of your being. And this alone is a wonderful way to ground as well as connecting you to your soul or your spiritual being. A couple of the things I use this for, one of them is a healing, a simple healing in my body. And so let's say that my wrist is sore or stiff or something. I will take that center axis of those three lines of light and just move it in my imagination to my wrist or to wherever in my body needs support, needs an influx of light, which is healing in actually at the quantum level, bringing in information into the body. And I don't leave it there for very long. Sometimes it's only a few seconds. Sometimes it might be a few minutes, but you kind of know either because the sensation will shift in your body or you'll just have the knowing of, okay, that's enough. And then I move it back to the center of my chest. So that's a fun use of this. And then another way that I use this that is super powerful for me is when I travel, particularly on an airplane. And I simply, once I'm on the plane and can get quiet and close my eyes and tap into these lines of light, I simply pull up the bottom line of light from connecting into earth. And then once I have landed in the airplane, or even sometimes I don't remember till I'm at a hotel or an Airbnb or a friend's house, wherever I'm going to be, and when I tap in again, then I drop that line of light back into earth in that place that I am. And this essentially is unplugging you physically from the time zone, the circadian rhythms, the all the biological rhythms of place and time and, and plugging you back into what's appropriate. And so I haven't actually had jet lag since I've start, started using this tool. I've uh, been in Egypt and a few other countries uh, far, far away, and this works like magic. I also use it even when I'm only going to be an hour or two off of my time zone, so a road trip or whatever. And it really is super useful because my body just immediately gets on the eating schedule, the sleeping schedule, and even climate. I live in the high mountains of Colorado, 
And so sometimes if we go south, say in the wintertime, and we'll experience a 50 degree or more difference in climate, as well as humidity levels, all the, all the things. And so I'll, I still do this because it is just really supportive to the body to tap into all of the cycles, all the, the natural rhythms and things that are going on that we're half the time, not even consciously aware of, but our body sure is. And our body needs support, needs adjusting to that. So I hope this is helpful for you. And thank you so much for watching. Um, my name is Donna McMurtry and I practice BQH, Beyond Quantum Healing. If you are interested in learning more about that, or if you would like to book a session with me, I have a page on quantumhealers.com. Just search my name, Donna McMurtry. Also, there will be a link below this video. On my directory page beside website, there is a direct booking link. So you can actually see my appointment calendar and make payment and get all the little detailed instructions that you need to right there. Also, quantumhealers.com, if you're not already familiar, is a worldwide directory of practitioners that practice all kinds of super fascinating alternative health and energy modalities. So check that out. And especially if you live in another country or if you really want a face-to-face -face instead of a remote session of some sort, um, check out that directory. Thank you so much for watching and many blessings.